If f of x is equal to the arctangent of 2 times x, then what is the derivative of f evaluated at 0? So let's first start by rewriting this function as y is equal to the arctangent of 2 times x. And then what we'll do is essentially take a tangent of each side so that we have the tangent of y is equal to 2x. And if you take the tangent of the arctangent, what you're left with is just what's inside. Since we know that, if you plug the inverse function evaluated at some value x into the function, then you just get back x. And from here, we could just take the derivative of each side with respect to x. And on the left-hand side, we'll have to use the chain rule and implicit differentiation. So the derivative of the outer function, this tangent function, is just the secant squared of that inner function. And now we have to multiply by the derivative of this inner function y, which is a function of x. So we'll write dy dx, and this is equal to the derivative of 2x with respect to x. So this is x to the first. We'll bring the 1 down in front. So we have 2 times 1, and then multiply that by x to the 1 minus 1 power, or x to the 0 power, which is 1. And now we can solve this equation for dy dx by just dividing each side by the secant squared y. So we have that dy dx is equal to 2 over the secant squared of y. And right now this relationship involves y, but we want something that involves x in it. So we can start with this relationship here, the tangent of y is equal to 2x, and think about what that means in terms of a triangle. So let's draw a triangle here. And remember the tangent function, let's say the tangent of theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So in this case, y is essentially our angle here. And 2x is just this ratio of the opposite to the adjacent. So we can rewrite this as 2x for the opposite side, and the adjacent side is 1. So the hypotenuse of this would just be the square root of 1 plus 2x squared. And so the secant of the angle y, which is the same thing as 1 over the cosine of the angle y, is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side. And since the hypotenuse is the square root of 1 plus 4x squared, and the adjacent is just 1, we can substitute this quantity here into our relationship for the derivative of y with respect to x. So in the end, this dy over dx is equal to 2 divided by the secant squared of y, which is this quantity here. So we have the square root of 1 plus 4x squared, and we need the secant squared, so we'll square this expression. So we can rewrite this as 2 divided by 1 plus 4x squared. And remember, this is just equal to the derivative of our function f of x. And the original question asks us to evaluate the derivative when x is equal to 0. So if we just plug in 0 here for x, we'll have 2 divided by 1 plus 0. So it'd be 2 over 1, which is 2. So 2 is our final answer.